Hello and welcome to Top 10 Mods for Fabric 116.5. We're going to start with a mod called Bigger Beacons. So this mod adds something pretty cool. We're going to place our beacons down. And let's take a look at the GUI of the beacons. So you can see now we have up to 10 levels, right? So what we could potentially do is we could, say, choose speed, 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 yes. We get speed 3. Resistance, resistance, resistance. Haste, haste, haste. Uh, strength, strength, strength. So we could have luck as well. We get luck three. Let's see what else. Absorption. Do saturation. Saturation three. Absorption, luck, speed, strength, resistance, haste. Maybe do the middle one. Fire resistance seems to only have one level. When you click on it, it doesn't actually change anything here. And then finally, the tenth one would be the jump boost three as well. For example, we have here a Fortune 3 Efficiency 5 pickaxe. Let's do a bunch of ancient debris. And let's take a look. Try diamond ore instead. Super quick way to get resources. There's also this mod called Enchanted Tooltips. So if we take a look at the sword, for example, that's where it says press shift for enchant info. That's Enchanted Tooltips. And it, can, it will tell you the max level that you can put on, what you can apply it to, and what mod it's from. And we can see the same for books. Max level applies to... And then, for instance, here's one from Better End, and you can see how that works. Okay, so what I want to do now is look at a mod that we've got called Flowstone. So what this mod does is it will turn any stone block generated from lava into an ore. And the ore that it will be will be an ore that, is, that would naturally spawn. So let's uh, see if we can do this. So we've got a smooth stone generator here. So you can see that once you put a bunch more magma blocks out, the rate is going to go up a lot. But even with this many, you would really you really need to put a lot underneath as well. Next up we've got a mod called Map Atlases. So say we take our empty map, and we're going to right click and we're going to get a map. So here's the location that we're currently in. What we can do then is we can actually turn this into an atlas. So we go into our inventory, put our map, and we're going to put it together with a book and also honey. And that's going to get you the atlas. And it'll say maps one, empty maps zero. So we'll take that. Let's take a look at it. You'll notice, first of all, that a map has appeared on the top right-hand side of the screen. If we press the M key, we'll then be able to view the map. And we can also use the scroll wheel, and that will let us scroll in between different magnifications. So we can also add additional maps. So the way to do that is we can add some empty maps for instance. And what the empty maps will do is they'll actually be able to so you can put as many as you want in here. We take that out only one at a time. But say empty maps too. So what essentially this means is that when we go into an area that is a new map, so we'll go into a new area outside of the range of the map and you'll hear the map sound and that means that a map has been written to press the M key, you can see that this south map has now been written to. If we wanted to remove it though, what we could do is we could put the map here and we could use shears, and at the cost of some durability, it would return the map. If we take this map and we change the scale of it, you'll notice we won't be able to put it into, so the limitation of the map is that the scale of it is preset once you create the atlas. So what you'd have to do, is you would create another atlas like this and then it will say the scale is one to eight so you can only add maps which are exactly the same size as the original map and finally if you wanted to add a banner it's very very simple you can just click with the atlas and you'll see that that banner has been added 
Okay, so a couple of small mods to look at here. So Endermen obviously are normally three blocks tall. But here we have small Endermen, and they're only two blocks tall. So exactly the same, but they're just two blocks instead of three. Now we have Stop Strider Suffering. So if we put a Strider down, we can saddle them. And normally you're not actually able to remove the saddle from the Strider. But now, with Stop Strider Suffering, you can simply shift right click, and the saddle will be removed. We've also got this mod called More Respawn Anchors. So, for instance, we could make the Netherite one, and this will give you double the amount of charges. So we can place that down, put the dispenser in, fill it with the glowstone blocks. That's going to have 12 charges in total. There's also the end respawn anchors. I don't think they'll probably work in the nether. We can take a look though. They actually require ender pearls. Oh no, they're fine. And let's look at the netherite one. Okay. Okay, now we've got something pretty cool. And this is a mod called Starry Skies. So what you have to do is you have to make a portal in the overworld to get to the Starry Skies overworld. Here in the Starry Skies overworld, you're going to find a bunch of different spheroid biomes. So you might find glowstone, you might find regular stone. If you've got mods like ecotones or woods and mires, or any or any mod which adds stuff to the overworld, you're going to find blocks made out of them. And you're going to find a bunch of these spheres all over the place. And there's a whole range of different advancements. And then when you click, when you stand on one of them, you can see here we've got a coal one. You can see there's a bunch of coal in the center of this sphere. And you can see just how many of these spheres there are around, right? Okay, what you can do from the uh, Starry Skies overworld is you can then go to the Scar Starry Skies nether or go to the Spooky Skies, which is what the Starry Skies end is. So let's try the nether first. So you can see, for instance, here we have a better, uh, a better nether <coughs> section. So there's a jellyfish mushroom, and you're going to get all the diff all the correct uh, mod spawns here. So let's take a look at this one. It might be a soul forge valley. There's a soul soil, and it seems every single one has got a an achievement there. So we're looking at. There's a dragon. Okay, the next mod to look at is a mod called RPGs with a Z at the end. So, spawn a zombie. And you'll notice that the zombie is just lying there. Uh, and that's because you can actually loot the zombie by shifting right click, and you can see you can get what's in the inventory, and then the zombie will disappear. Finally, we have a mod called Anvil Fix, and this is going to bypass the 40 level limit for an enchanted book. So you can see if we put in this book, you can see it's going to be 50, and it's going to put on a bunch of enchantments. So that's all for this episode, so thanks for watching.